when you first tell people that we go on a trip, what they imagine is a group of kids on a bus seeing the Washington Monument go by the window. And our trip is completely different. It's all about what happens when you get off the bus and where you go and what you see and who you talk to and how you get your hands dirty. The trip is a unique feature of Buxton. We take the entire school on the road to another city in North America, places like Chicago, Toronto, Philadelphia, or this year Detroit. We've been to El Paso in New Orleans, also been out of the country to Nicaragua, Mexico, Cuba. The idea is for the students and the teachers to get out in the world and investigate topics that are interesting in that city. The process is really a three-week process. So we've got a week before we go on the trip. Classes are canceled, the school has broken down into study groups, and each group, made up of about eight students and a faculty member, is investigating a topic of interest in whatever location we're visiting. The students are figuring out where do we need to go, what do we need to do, what do we need to see or experience, who do we need to talk to, to find out as much as we can about this topic. I am an industrial archaeologist interested in the automobile industry. They spend that time researching, making phone calls, making plans, and the students do the bulk of that. The faculty members there to help also be investigating the topic alongside the kids, but we're really trying to empower the students to do that themselves. Break off into groups and um my group's automotive industry. And there's something amazing and gratifying about being 16 years old and calling somebody in Congress and getting them to agree to talk to you. So let's say there's a group studying homelessness in Detroit. They might meet with activists who are trying to create housing for homeless people. Or they might go to a homeless shelter and volunteer for a day. Or they might meet with a church that's been particularly active in that area. And it complicates the world for you. And I think good education complicates the world. There's so many social services that like people can get three meals a day like easily. And there's so many abandoned buildings that there's like it's not a problem for people to find a place to stay like over the night. It's not exactly safe. Kind of heartening and disheartening at the same time. Because Detroit is a movement town. It's made up of social movements, the labor movement, the civil rights movement, the black power movement, and now the movement to reimagine, redefine, and re-spirit Detroit. How will people live in cities? The same discussions happening in Africa, in Asia, in India, and in the United States. We're all facing these questions. They are involving themselves in the topic and trying to get as many perspectives as possible. You begin to realize that the people that do things in the world are really just you. The powers that be are just human beings who really are accessible. We've met with a lot of people that just kind of going for it and, you know, like trying to fix the, fix the problems. So if you come up here and look at this panel, you see he, this is his warning about the technological future. What's well, cool about the Motown thing? Yeah. Considering our whole trip has been like so yeah, fun, yeah. like we've been like doing so much stuff and getting inspired by all these other artists, like these musicians. Like going to Motown and seeing that it was actually a culture there, and like him, them having fun and like all the kids like being in there, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. so and much. Like, so fun! Feel that? In fact, they're all under 19. It's the young exactly. kids, like 14 or 15. Yeah. That's all right. One of the effects it's had on students is that they want to stay involved. Their eyes are opened and they realize and appreciate differently what they have in their lives and the things they take for granted. I think it's the perfect kind of trip for us because it's about looking at how do urban systems work? How do you make a city function? What gets in the way? How do you fix things? What can activists do? The other thing that happens during the trip is that we take a play with us. There's an all-school play that rehearses over the winter term. Everybody in the school is involved in this production in some capacity. So they're either on stage. I'm a long time traveling here below to lay this body down. Backstage. Men, this is our chance. May the gods help us. We're involved in some technical element. Calypso, the goddess there, will not want him to see us go. We perform that in hospitals or nursing homes. <laughs> we get to see the whole thing. Yeah, Everybody looks yeah, great. Right. Places where there's an audience that probably doesn't have the opportunity to go out. We're going to the city, we're taking a lot out of it. We'd like to bring something with us to give to the city at the same time. Carried for years on 
come back to Buxton and each group figures out a way to synthesize and present what they learned to the rest of the school. This represents the fires of industry. <laughs> so by the end of the three weeks, everybody knows everything there is to know from the trip. I don't know how you're feeling about Detroit public schools, but they're pretty bad. If people think like, oh, Detroit's a really bad place, I don't want to go there, then that gives companies more time to like go in and be like, oh, I'm going to take this from here and this. They want the children to be able to like catch up, so be where they should be. Oh. And then you have at the second we filmed everybody that we interviewed in Detroit. And now we're trying to organize it so we can produce a quality documentary. So we're trying to like vlog the footage today and tomorrow and then we should be done by Friday hopefully. Okay. We should talk to the kitchen about making a meal. Sure. Well, I'm sure. Yeah. For example, at colors, you can try and recreate the sweet potato ginger soup mm. and then have a little blurb about try to like source their ingredients really locally. We did too. Here's the soup. I'm trying to schedule an interview with Karen Haker Farm this week. We call local farms and see what they have available for us. We got some really great local produce. We got some eggs from our own chickens. We're cooking a potato based gnocchi with a local sausage and cheese sauce. Thank you, Ralph. Can you got me? There is a menu at the table. The food was amazing. You're trying to engage students in their own lives. You're trying to educate kids to make a difference in the world, to do real work that helps other people and to be able to look at their society and decide how they want to participate and how they might want to change it for the better. They're getting that real sense of urgency and, and agency from the trip. Da, da, da.